Located in the rural outskirts of Monrovia, the capital city of the Civil War-torn country of Liberia, is the Restoration Bible and Agriculture Institute. The school's founding is the fruition of one man's vision for his home country. So a lot of people say, you know, why Liberia? You know, there's a lot of countries in Africa. Ghana is a great, like, picture of a country that really gets it in terms of training men, uh, planning churches. They have their uh, great Bible college. So you, you come to a country like this and you think, well, you know, 16 years of war, I mean, what impact can they have beyond just this one little strip of land? But there's something very resilient about the people in Liberia. I met a guy connected to World Radio at the time, named Isaac Day, who came to the U.S. And I was, you know, been preaching, been working in ministry for a few years, and just kind of not sure if this is what I wanted to do. And when I heard him get up and just give his passion and his vision, I mean, it inspired me, I mean, to my sales. I mean, it was just, I was tingling, you know, when, when he got finished. We became fast friends. Um, of course, he was a war radio speaker and very successful, but the main thing that Isaac had was the vision for something bigger. I mean, this guy had a vision for what he wanted to get accomplished. He was uh, converted uh, uh, out of Liberia and got a Bible college, got his education, was a missionary in four different countries based in the Gambia. And then when Liberia opened up, he said, you know, I, I see an opportunity to go home. They had 16 years of civil war here, but he was like, it's ripe. You know, and, and I couldn't help but think about that verse in, in Matthew, wherever Jesus looked out and said, you know, the fields are ripe unto harvest. And here's a guy who saw that. You know, he saw that vision. The disciples in the moment Jesus said it, they didn't see it, but Isaac saw it. And so he said, I gotta get back to Liberia. Will you help me? And I said, what do we need to do? So there was a need to plant churches in Liberia, but you can't plant churches without preachers. So Restoration Bible and Agriculture Institute was started to teach young men to evangelize in their communities. The agriculture portion is what makes this unique though. Instead of sending men out to start churches without any funding, they set to teach men agriculture to start a farm so that they could be self-sustained. They could go out and preach the gospel, but also have a means to support that mission. So we start, we'll start, uh, we'll start to work probably all later this week. I have told our students that in order to be prosperous as a farmer, you either have to be able to produce when no one else can produce, or you have to be able to store storage is out because of uh, the humidity here, because of the uh, rodent and, and so on, different things of this sort. So it, it boils down to being able to produce during the dry season. This is called farm butter. Farm butter? Yeah. Farm, farm butter soup? Farm, farm butter soup, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Yes. Now it's made from the palm, from, yeah, from the, yeah. from these from the palm tree, yeah, correct? That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. This is, is this uh, one of the favorite uh, meals for the crew? For, for, for gribble. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Titus, what's your favorite food? Uh, it's GB. GB? Yeah. Okay. You make that here? You make GB here too? I know because no. people here, yeah, most of the, the students, you know, they don't like to swallow. Okay. So we are more acquainted with rice. Rice, okay. okay. That's right. So this is a cassava plant. It is planted here at Restoration, uh, and it is the second most consumed food in all of Liberia. A cassava, once it's harvested, it looks like a potato, and uh, it, it only lasts about 10 days to two weeks before it goes bad. So most people uh, compress it and turn it into gari, which lasts about a year. These are rows of cassava that has just been planted by the students. And what's interesting about cassava is that even though it's the nation's second leading crop, all cassava is exported into Nigeria, where it is then turned into gari and then imported back into Liberia. That's why the gari project is such a monumental endeavor. It'll be the first of its kind in all of Liberia. This business will help sustain the profits of Restoration Bible and Agriculture Institute and help its graduates. The students that who have graduated, who have started their own churches and, and also started their own farms in their local communities, they can sell their cassava to here. The building for the Gari facility has been built. 
components for the processing machine are being assembled, the project is underway. We were never meant to merely survive. God designed us to flourish in his kingdom. As part of the program, each student is charged with taking care of livestock. They're given goats, chicken, and pigs. This all continues the method of teaching them stewardship and how to have a self-sustaining economy. This is the Restoration Skills Training Center here on the campus of Restoration. And uh, this was started about a year ago as a women's empowerment mission. Isaac and his staff uh, believe uh, wholeheartedly that, that giving women an opportunity to have their own business, to have a, a different skill set, can bring them out of all kinds of terrible situations of you know, husbands who have left them, prostitution in some cases. Each woman gets a sewing machine and they get a two-year training period of how to sew, how to create, how to tailor. <laughs> and then they can go back to their homes, to their communities, and start a sewing business, start a tailoring business. One kidon is worldwide. Maybe some of you don't know, but one kidon is extended in our country, Liberia, and we are so glad. So Isaac Day has been a world radio speaker for us for over a decade. He would get on the radio and speak for about an hour a day on Magic FM. Well, there came a time that the owner of Magic FM wanted to sell the station, and he gave Isaac the first rights of refusal because Isaac had had such a great impact on this man. So One Kingdom, along with some other partners, came along to help buy the radio station. And now today, Magic FM is here on campus as Restoration Radio. What happens with radio here is incredible. I and mean, we get this big radio tower, you know, right behind there is just beaming out. So everywhere we're driving around Monrovia, you know, we're listening to Restoration Radios. The Restoration Radio, having to be the official voice of the Churches of Christ in Liberia. The thing about a visionary, you figure out pretty quickly in any part of the world, is that they're not going to stop having vision. So they've got a project, it's working great. Us Americans, we're like, well, let's just stick with that because that's going really good. Visionaries keep having vision. I heard today that there's over 120 churches here. At the beginning, I think there were, you know, 10 or 15. So it's really incredible what Isaac has done so far, but what I love about it is he's not finished.